Hi everybody! Today we're going to take a tour of our new RV. It's by Forest River. It's the XLR Boost 21 QBS Toy Hauler. Okay, let's start the tour at the front of the trailer. Right on the corner there's a locking compartment where we store tools, extra supplies, things that we'll need while we're in camp. There's also an emergency shutoff for the electrical system on this panel right here. A very popular feature is the outdoor shower. It's great to have hot and cold running water, especially when you're traveling with a dog like Bella. This is also the low point in the water system if you have to drain it out. Next we have outside speakers mounted on either side of the television mount. Just below the television mount we have uh, hookups for cable and satellite. Below the satellite hookups we have an electrical outlet. This toy hauler comes with its own gas station. This is the panel that allows you to control the fuel station pump and monitor how much fuel you have in your 35 gallon gas tank. This is just a standard fuel fill and right next door is where you're going to find the gasoline nozzle for dispensing fuel. We're also going to be running our generator when we get it installed with the fuel in this 35 gallon tank. Very convenient setup. You definitely want to keep that under lock and key for safety. Above my head is the slide for our master bedroom and just underneath the slide is the compartment for our future generator. Until we get our generator it's convenient storage but once we do get it it's already wired up here for the control panel which is on the inside of the trailer. The generator is going to run on fuel that we keep in the gas station in the back. These are the fuel lines that will hook up to the generator when we get it. Pretty standard gray and black water dumps on the side. And a 30 amp electrical service. Our furnace for heat. Then you have our fill station here. This one is for city water supply. To the right is to fill our fresh water tank. Just above it is our satellite and our cable installations. That's where we plug in. Above that is the black tank flush. So you can get water in the black tank. And last but not least, our 10 gallon water heater. The last thing to show you on the exterior is the patio or the ramp. For a week at Croton Point Campground, this was our home. Welcome everybody to the tour. This is the 21 QBS Toy Hauler XLR Boost by Forest River. Let's go in and have a look. First thing we'll look at is the bathroom. It's right behind this door, which is a pocket door, slides open. As you walk in, you'll see the beautiful sink, stainless steel standard fair toilet, flushes with a foot pedal, very efficient. Right here is the shower. It's of good size, the water pressure is nice. Nice little shelves in the corner for all the things that you need. Obviously hot and cold water. We like it a lot. Pretty standard medicine cabinet and bathroom sink, very functional, maybe a bit on the small side but it works. A nice large storage cabinet underneath the sink, very convenient. Mm -hmm. 
right through this door is the master bedroom. Have a look around. It's very spacious and airy. Very comfortable to sleep in. The slide and the window really make it a comfortable place to sleep. We're very happy with our new bedroom. We each get three big drawers in this chest of drawers, which is a lot of good space, as well as this little closet, which is not as little as it looks. It's very deep, very wide. All in all, the bedroom is very comfortable and well set up. Okay, moving into the kitchen. This is our refrigerator. Freezer on top, lots of room for ice, and the refrigerator on the bottom. Even more room for some really good beer. This is one a friend of mine gave me that has grapefruit juice in it. I can't wait to try that. A standard, very functional microwave above the stove. And directly above that, a very handy storage cabinet. We even have another one right next door. This is the busiest cabinet in the kitchen where we keep our cookware, plates, glasses, coffee mugs, that kind of stuff. Very handy. It's right above the sink which has one of these beautiful little elephant trunk nozzles with two different spray levels. Stainless steel rectangular sink with a really nice drying rack. This is my wife's pineapple that she likes to drink out of. Me, I've got a best dad mug that I travel with. It may be a small window, but it's very functional right above the sink. Three nice drawers. One for utensils, the other one's kind of a catch-all drawer, including my mousse. Get back in there. Right next to these two drawers is our under-sink cabinet, where I keep a small garbage can and cleaning stuff. Let me turn the light on so we can see. This is our stove. It's a three-burner, runs on propane. Easy to start, you turn on the gas, click the igniter, and you got fire. Now that's camping. We have a celebratory bottle of champagne and some gifts given to us by Bob and Debbie from Blue Wave Odyssey. Thank you, Bob and Debbie. This towel was also part of the package. That's so sweet. We had a great meetup. The stove is as small and functional as most RV stoves. I'm sure it will poorly heat up pizzas for us in the future. And this is our utility drawer where I keep a lot of my cooking supplies. On to the living room. This is our new fireplace and the television that's mounted directly above it. It makes for a cozy spot on a cool evening. At least we hope we haven't had it for a cool evening yet. Okay, and now this is our control panel. Uh, the first button is going to be the battery, then our fresh water tank, then our black water tank, and then finally the gray water. All the controls for the lights and pumps and all that good stuff are right here. Right next to that is our FM radio. I can pipe that music through the speakers either outside or in. Another little catch-all place uh, where we keep a lot of stuff. Keys, videotapes, that kind of thing. Right above the fireplace. As Bella's food, she's got to have her little space too. Let's back up and have a look at the whole living room. In this configuration we have the two bucket chairs by the window facing the kitchen cabinetry. And I've got the two benches folded down so Bella has somewhere to lay down and we can put the table between the benches and eat if it does rain and we can't eat out on the patio. This is Bella's bed. She's had a rough day. She's such a beautiful dog. Just in case anyone couldn't figure it out that this is Bella's bed. We, we had a bed cover made for her with her picture on it. 
Actually, our daughter's got that for us for Christmas. Now, up above where Bella is sleeping is a king-sized bed that's pinned up against the ceiling that we can bring down. At the end of the tour, I'm going to add a demonstration video of the Happy Jack system. Alright, through this opening is our patio area. We are set up for meals. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner out here, weather permitting. It's also a good way to load and unload the trailer, because you can fold that down into a ramp for load up and for breakdown. Here's a quick look at the outside of our camp from the patio. Just a couple of small items that I forgot. This is the electrical control panel and fuse box. Uh, it's right below the refrigerator by the bedroom door. Now directly next to the electrical box there is a propane detection device for safety. Hi everybody. I hope you're enjoying the tour of the trailer. I decided to put in a little insert here to give you a demonstration of the Happy Jack system which is up here. We have a king size bed underneath. We have a queen size bed that comes in two halves that also fold down into a bench. During the first part of the trailer tour we had this set up in our camping configuration with the two benches down on either side so that we could put this table in between it and use it as a dinette on rainy days. Or our other choice would be to eat out on the patio. Right now I have the patio closed down so I can have the air conditioner on and I want to show you some of the other configurations that we can use. First and foremost, this is the one that I like to use when we are home where I keep the two bucket seats in the back and I set up a small work area right by this beautiful window that I can look out upon my gardens while I work. It's a beautiful spot. Okay, the next setup that I would like to try would be one where we would be traveling and stopping for an overnighter. I'd say a Cracker Barrel or at a roadside stop. Somewhere where we wouldn't have to put out a slide, make such a big impact, just kind of park, jump in the back of the trailer and go to bed. So we're gonna set that up right now. I've got to use the happy jack to bring down the king size bed. Okay, now everything's out of the way. I can start working with the happy jack. But first I have to bring down the benches just a little bit so I can gain access to some of the hardware here. There are four little pieces of hardware that I have to flip up. That right, will enable me to hook onto the, the king size bed and bring it down. Flip it up like that. And I'm gonna do that on all four. And this is the fourth one. Right here. So now with all four of these bits of hardware changed to this position, I can raise the two benches and they will grab onto the king size. You're gonna hear a nice loud click. That's how you know you're good. There's the click. And down comes the king size. Now there's a pre-designated spot right here where the bed's going to stop. That's where they set it up when they built the trailer. I can move that if I want to make this higher or lower, and I may want to just go up a little bit in the future. Once we get to that spot, it will stop, and the benches will continue on its travel path down. Alright, so that will be the top bunk. Top bunk would be king size. Now there's a couple of legs that would have been easier for me to bring down while I had it up higher, but all the same, bring down the little legs of the lower bunk, and down we come. Once that leg hits the ground, we are stuck. Now, I'm going to bring these beds together. In this configuration, we have the king size upper bunk, which has got lots of room. You could easily fit two or three people up there, kids especially. And then you have a queen size lower bunk. I've tried them both, they're both very comfortable. So when we're traveling, 
rather than opening up the bedroom slide, all we really have to do is bring down these beds into this configuration and we can go to sleep in, you know, say a, a Bass Pro Shop or a, a Walmart or a highway service stop. We'll be able to grab some shut eye up here on the king size. What I would like to do would be to put these folded up against the wall. Let's see if I could do it just the way it sits right now. I should probably do it. Slide these back. size bed in position. I've got the two benches up against the walls. I will return my bucket chairs. All right. What's nice about this configuration is that we can sit here, watch some television at night, sit in front of the fireplace that's right next to you, Plenty of room for cooking and preparing meals. We have our bed right here. And we won't ever have to open up the slide for the bedroom. That can stay locked up full of storage while we're traveling. When we're ready for bed, we've got our ladder. It goes right there. So if we're just taking a short trip, an overnighter, I'll leave it set up like this. Of course, while you're traveling, you have to have the happy jacks pushing up against the king, up against the ceiling for safety. But once you get into a place where you want to take a nap for the night, you just have to come in here, pull down the king size, and you're ready to go to bed. When you're done, making your bed is as easy as pushing the button, pushes it all up against the ceiling when you're done. It's a really nice system. So basically, if you want to travel with the most floor space available for storage for toys, you put the two benches folded up underneath the king size and then up against the ceiling. If you need more ceiling height, you can bring the two Happy Jack benches down against the wall with the king size up. That gives you the most headroom. This situation is more for traveling and we want to pull over and take a rest. This enables us to do that without having to move anything around without having to open up our slide, be conspicuous in a parking lot. Now the way that I normally like to keep it is with the, as we started at the very beginning, and bring us back to that moment, with the two bucket chairs in the back, with both the king size and the queen side up against the ceiling, with my office, with my desk set up right over here in front of the window. It's a very comfortable trailer. We are certainly very lucky to have found it when we did. Somebody had purchased it and outfitted it and set it all up to be picked up. And at the very last minute, their financing fell through. So we were able to walk right into it without having to wait for a delivery or anything like that. Uh, it kind of worked out real nicely for us and we got a very good deal on it. So we're very happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the trailer uh, tour. I think we covered everything on the interior. Thank you very much for clicking on that button and joining us for our trailer tour. I wanted to show everybody around after we've had it all chance to decorate it and spend some time in it. Uh, it feels like our second home now. We spent, we spent about a month in the trailer this summer. We had a two week trip at the beach and then one week in the Catskills, one week in Westchester at Croton Point. Now I'm uh, parked on the side of the house again and uh, we're gonna be here probably for the rest of the season. I don't think we're gonna be going out with the RV anymore until next spring but you never know we'll see thanks again for coming i appreciate your spending your valuable time here with me i hope that this was helpful if you have just purchased uh, a, a forester river trailer with the happy jack system um, we were a little confused at first it's just a bit of a learning curve you can see i'm worked up a little sweat playing with it it's not the easiest thing to do the idea is you set it up the way you like to do it and then you do it that way you don't have to get too complicated with it Thank you so much for watching. Alright, let's get her back into our office configuration.
flip our little levers over again. Okay. Now that all the little levers have been flipped, we're going to bring the king size up against the ceiling. That's the click you want to hear, it just engages in the top. That means I can bring this back down and leave that up at the top. Now, I want to fold these back up. Good. Two beds are up and out of my way. It's not a giant trailer, but if you're able to get the bedroom up against the ceiling, it opens up a lot of space. This whole space in the back here would make a great office space. I like my space right underneath my large window over here. It works out very well. It's a very comfortable space. Well, that's the tour of the, <clears throat> the toy hauler. I figured I'd take my time and we decorated and got everything all tidied up and got it on video for you to see. Uh, the last one we showed you was from the RV dealer in Connecticut on a cold, cold winter afternoon. So today we're at Croton Point in Westchester County. Um, we're going to start packing up to leave tomorrow is our last day here. Um, so we figured we'd get it all on video while it's still all set up. Thanks for coming along, pushing on that button and having a look at our camp here at Croton Point in Westchester County. Say goodbye, Bella. Goodbye, Bella.